El Paso County and city leaders still working to take down a proposed medical waste facility set to be built in the lower valley. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela was at a special news conference a few hours ago. We've been following the back and forth since 2017, and at that news conference today, local leaders say the company doesn't have the proper permits to build where it wants to, and they're saying they're hoping the state will re revoke the facility's approval to operate. This is, again, a very water-intensive process. Uh, so all of the water waste is then put into the sewer system. That's just one of the reasons local leaders like County Commissioner Vince Bedez continues to push against a proposed medical waste facility slated to be built off Billy the Kid Street in the Lower Valley, an area with neighborhoods, parks, and businesses. The company behind the plan, Medicare Environmental Solutions, says the biohazardous waste would be treated before being disposed in the sewers. Medicare says some of the waste could also be recycled into energy. So now you're going to have this industrial facility located here uh, where you're going to have 100,000 pounds of medical waste that's going to be cleaned through this water process that's going to ultimately wind up back in the drinking water system. Right. And there's going to be a, 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 a smell because if you go around through this whole area, there's places here where they do run the sewage through the streets, and I'm sure that's where a lot of it would come up. City Rep Claudia Ordaz Perez says she's open to talks with the company, but adds the facility just doesn't belong in this specific spot. We just have to be vigilant. We have to be mindful. Um, and this is just the beginning of the conversation. I mean, where, where, say, you know, this isn't the most suitable location, and then they look for another location in El Paso. So that's the thing. That's, we have to have a, a broader conversation, a community-wide discussion on where these types of facilities are best suited. Medicare has said in the past that it's committed to taking care of customers in El Paso and that it's following the rules set by the state of Texas. If the state revokes its permit to operate, Medicare could choose to appeal. In the studio, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.